Shalom, shalom, goddammit. Welcome to this segment of the Dave Song by Radio program. I am so pleased. I am so honored. I am so thrilled to have this next guest with us. It is a, it is a machaya to have this person to talk to because he is so well known in the entertainment industry, both for doing regular things and for doing Jewish things. And we're going to talk about both with the amazing, the wonderful, the beautiful Mandy Patinkin. Mandy, how are you today, damn it? Mandy? You know what? I'm going to cut this interview short. I didn't realize that there was a lot of foul language, uh, you know, accompanied with it. There's no, there's no foul language. Uh, this yeah, is radio. the way you were saying things. So um, I wish you well and uh, take care. Bye-bye. Goodbye, damn it. What a fabulous, fascinating interview that was with Mandy Patinkin. What the hell is Mandy from anyway? Monday, man, was that short for Mandrew? I don't know, but uh, what? He hears the word, God damn it, his head explodes? I've been using that word since I was born, since I, before I was born. In the womb, I was saying, God damn it, God damn it. Well, let me tell you something. Big shot, big deal. Who cares, Mandy Batinkin, huh? I was uh, not going to be using any four-legged words, three-legged words. God is a three-legged word. I, I can't even count the number of letters in God damn it, in Hebrew or in English. But let me tell you, oh, you will get yours, you son of a bitch. I mean, you were very uh, nice. You weren't nasty uh, the way you are, apparently, to all your underlings and folks like that. But no, no, you were calm and approachable. And uh, you sounded like we were going to have a wonderful interview. But, oh, then you heard my voice. And then, oh, he's too Jewish. Oh, he's angry Jewish. Oh, he might use a, a bad, naughty word that I never heard before. First of all, you're lucky the interview didn't go through, because I wasn't just going to ask you about your stupid new show on uh, Channel 2, I think it is, where you're playing some kind of investigative thingy, who cares what the hell it was called, Quantico, it was a bad title, you probably thought of it, then they changed the name to Criminal Minds, which you probably have, you son of a bitch! And then, uh, what else are you doing? Oh, yes, you're doing this big deal thing for the, the Yiddish thing. You're doing Mama Lotion. Oh, yes, you don't want to offend all the 60 and 70 and 80 year old Jews on the way to the nursing homes by, by saying or thinking anything bad. Oh, no. So then you gotta do this Yiddish stuff that, that's all, everything was sweetness and light for Jews when they were singing these songs. Now, the Russians were smashing things in pogroms. They were torturing Jews. There was a blood libel because yeah, everybody thought Jews went out and killed children. But no, we, well, we just sing the nice songs about the Cheder. No, Jews were never herded into ovens by Nazis. That didn't actually happen. We don't talk about it. We only say the nice words and we only think the good things. Like uh, like you apparently did when you were doing what, what was that show? The, the Wild Party. Oh, remember that? Where they didn't know how crazy you would get? Where you're throwing people uh, around on stage and they didn't know when you would show up half the time hmm, what was going on there Mr. Big Shot Mandy Patin King 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 and I, I couldn't even get your name right for all these years I didn't know whether if there was an M in it or an N in it what a strange Chicago name you have is it Patimkin or Pat, you know like the, like the Cadillacs now those oh no wait that was Patimkin see I can't even get you got me so mad I can't even think straight and I'm saying god damn it because I'm mad as opposed to usually when I say god damn it just because I like saying god damn it god damn it Oh, my God. And I was going to ask you some nice questions, too, about uh, Bernadette Peters, because you did, did a CD with her uh, for children's things. Oi, what am I going to say? A bad word to offend the children. No, no, no. But uh, and also what it was like to work on Sunday in the Park with George, one of the great musicals of our time, even though it still would have been better if you had done something like uh, Sunday in the Park with Moish. Or with Irving, because I do not understand this Surat, this painter guy. What the hell is up with that? You know, it looks like a nice, pretty picture. Then you come up close to it, and what do you see? You see dots. All it is is goddamn dots. You're looking straight at it. I don't know what the hell to make of it. You have to walk halfway around the block. You have to go two miles away to see what is in the stupid picture. That's not a painting. A painting is a put a, a thing, a couple of brush strokes, and boom, there's a dog playing poker. Now that, to me, is art. What's the matter, Mandy? Mandel, I couldn't take a little uh, good-natured ribbing, huh? From a man of the cloth, huh? A little worried about being perceived as too Jewish? Didn't you have that fight with uh, John Simon? I was going to ask you about that, about the critic John Simon, who said nasty things about you in print a few years ago, that they didn't like your voice, and that you were too Jewish-looking and too Jewish-sounding. And now, John Simon, who's also Jewish, is out on his ass. He's fired from New York Magazine. We'd love to know. Hey, do you want to gloat? Do you want to take the high road? Although, knowing you, probably, 
probably not. So, there's another question I didn't get to ask. I wasn't going to ask even about the goddamn Crestor that you're advertising every other minute on, on the TV. That you're pushing drugs from drug companies that are making gazillions of dollars in this country, giving some of those gazillions to you, and then charging people up the us for health care insurance. Hmm, what about that, Mr. Mandrew Patinkin? Well, let me tell you something. I hope your television shows up. <coughs> is a flop, is a <coughs> I hope any Broadway show you touch becomes the next Star Mites. No, wait, Star Mites wasn't bad. Uh, my, what should it be? The, the next, uh, I'll have to think about that one. But, no, it should all be poisonous. It should all be fat and ugh and cold and stale. Borscht in people's mouths, what you do, until you apologize to the rabbi for being so, uh, so, not abrupt. You weren't abrupt, I'll give you that. You were, you were polite. But still, that was fully on you. Foy, foy from the rabbi, on behalf of myself, my dear wife Miriam Libby, and our 20 children, I promise you better interviews next time in Mirza Hashem. Bye.